So talking virtualization at KubeCon. This will be the Intel keynote. Um, really, uh, I was listening to Dan this morning about how a second grader had to figure out how, how to become a fourth grader. And I'm realizing we're doing this thing in reverse with virtualization. And we realized this about, about a year and a half ago where we looked at, hey, Amazon is using virtualization for Firecracker. We have Kata containers where we use virtualization for containers. Hmm. Maybe we're doing it wrong. We had to look back and we said, we have this tool called virtualization. And it's the, the bow from Dan this morning. It came out of a engineering process and the tool was built. And we had to go back and said, you know what? We have to deconstruct it back to the basics. Um, because virtualization is an interesting tool for security. The, the, the fundamental hardware capabilities, the fundamental blocks are a, about creating isolation between two pieces of software. And security matters, and well, we need to do more of that. And we're at CNCF, so what, what are we talking about? We have to be lightweight, we have to be fast. Density matters for most people in the room. Startup time matters. You don't want your port to take two hours to start. And most of all, security matters. So what does that mean? Um, we have to go back to the basics. And one of the things we've been starting in public is a project called Rust VMM, where rather than having a complete virtualization solution like the fourth grader build, we're going back all the way to second grade, where we're building a bunch of pieces and components so that we can recompose them in a different way. Um, we want to be able to compose custom hypervisors, custom pieces of software that can provide isolation just exactly for the task we need, rather than big bloated pieces of software that we don't want to use. Um, now, it's a Rust, it's a language. It turns out that Go is great for the layer where Kubernetes works and above that. The layer where you write system software like hypervisors, Rust is what you do today. And if you haven't used Rust, Rust is strange. Go, I have a C background, kernel stuff. Go, sure, it, it flows normal. I used to do Pascal, Go looks like Pascal a little bit. I was at home immediately. Rust is weird. But if you want to care about security on that layer of the stack, Rust is it. Um, and Rust has a concept called crates, which are basically fundamental modules of software that you can put together in an easy way. And then has this picture of this table where you put all these blocks together and you make a new tool. That's the vision that we had, that we had to go back to. Um, but we had to deconstruct what we had, build it again from scratch, rethink all the assumptions around technology, build the blocks again, and then what do we do with that? Um, so it's great to build a bunch of blocks, but we have to build something that actually uses that. So there's a project called Cloud Hypervisor. It's on GitHub. Um, we used all the blocks we built with Rust VMM to show that we can build a pretty complete hypervisor on the, on the extreme big end so that you can do Firecracker on the one hand, but you're very lightweight. You use only one or two of these blocks. But if you want a more complete setup, you can do a much bigger setup. Um, so this was, we went, back from, we, went from, from, we went from fourth grade to back to second grade. And now we're trying to back, go to a different fourth grade in a more cloud native setup. And I'm totally stealing Dan's presentation from this morning. I wish I had seen it before. Had, I would have had Minecraft pictures here. <laughs> but this is a reimagining the basic isolation technology in a cloud native world, build basic building blocks, allow them to be put, be put together in a specific way that is suitable for different places. For fast, firecracker style, you need almost nothing. For running a legacy workload, you need probably all of it. If you want to run containers, you need about half of it. So you can make really a custom setup, custom hypervisor for what you actually want to achieve. Um, so yes, this was an Intel talk, um, but go, go check it out. Don't write all virtualization as the technology from the 1990s, because that exists, but really trying to go back from second grade, from fourth grade to second grade, and back to fourth grade again in the new world. Thank you. <laughs>